Hello guys, today we have a video that you asking me for a long time. The first episode of how to connect the lighting system to the universal Chaoji display. In today's video we will see our new lighting EV board. We will provide power to our second generation display and through the DK main switch we will control our vehicle's headlight. At the moment, on the board we have the second generation of Chaoji display which has a touchscreen feature. I also have the third generation to show you that they are almost the same. The only difference with the second gen is that this one does not have a touchscreen feature. But all the color wiring and connection diagrams are exactly the same with the second generation displays. Let's remember the color wiring of the display. The first black single wire is the antenna of the radio. Next is the USB cable from which we can play music or to charge our phone. 9 pin main signal connector plug. two pin speaker connector plugs and single pink wire for BMS one line communication. The three cutted wires purple, green and black that you see I have already removed them from the main 9 pin plug which are the most basic wires that we will need to connect before start. The purple one is one line communication with the controller. This means that the display can only read the controller. The green cable is the ground or the negative pole of the battery and the black, pay attention, is the positive pole of the display or power supply. Now why it is black, I don't know either. Be careful, do not connect them backwards. Now let's take a look at the main parts of our table. At the top of the board we have the headlight. Next is the Chaoji display of second generation. Here we can see our DK switch. After we have left and right trafficators. Next is our flasher. Here is our step down converter which drops the high voltage of the battery to 12 volts to provide power to our light system. Here we have the hydraulic brake with built in switch. Here is our two step rear light. And last one is our adjustable power supply which will represent our battery. As we said before, we have cutted pins 2, 3 and 9, from which 2 and 3 must be connected to our battery, for the power and voltage readings. Now let's connect power to our panel through the step down converter. For those wondering why we need 12 volt step down converter. It is because our screen can accept input signal up to 15 volts max, as you can see also in the manuals. As you can see, from the output of the converter we have 12 volts.
At this point, we have connected the display to the high voltage, directly to the battery. Now, I will turn on the power supply to power the display. As you can see, the display has been activated and at the bottom right we can see the battery voltage indication. Within 5 seconds after turning on the display, if we touch to the right corner of the display, it will enter to the main settings, where we can change battery parameters, calibrate the voltage, we can choose different background themes and many other options. Regarding the touch response of the display, it is not the best we can find out there, but it is good enough because we will set them only one time at the beginning. Now let's connect the front light of the vehicle. As you can see, at the output we have three wires, black, red and green. Black is the common, red is the high beam and green is the low beam. We just connected the ground. Now it is time to provide 12 volt power to the low beam. So when we will turn on the vehicle, the low beam will turn on also at the same time. Now it is time to add the high beam. As we all understand, it must be connected to the switch. To do that, first we need to find the switch contacts. After a continuity test, we find that the red and black are the contacts of the main light switch. Now all we need is to get 12 volt supply and send it to the switch. And from the switch to the red wire of the high beam. Note that in the future we may need to change the 12 volt power wiring from the black to red. Because at the moment I don't know which one is the common wire. So I will keep it temporary as it is and in the future we may need to swap them. Now it is time to send a signal from the high beam to the display, so that as soon as the light is on, the display shows us the indication that we have the light on. To do that, we need to find the blue wire on pin 5, and connect it to the output of the light switch so that once the high beam is turned on, it will also send a signal to the display. So here we have 12 volts entering into the switch and from the output of the switch divides. One goes to the display and the other goes to the supply of the high beam. 
As you can see, as soon as we turn on the light, the display drops the contrast and gives us two feedback indications that our high beam light is on. That's it for today guys regarding the headlight. In the next part we will connect to our system the trafficators and the stoplight. So see you in the next video.